random tangent. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this unity thing. We're going to read it out loud for you. So you, you don't have to read. I will read for you. Unity overhauls controversial price hike after game developers revolt. Really? Video game toolmaker Unity Software Incorporated said Monday it's back it's backtracking on major aspects of a controversial new price hike, telling staff in an all hands meeting that it's now considering changes including a cap on potential fees. Unity, which operates and licenses a suite of video game development tools called Unity Engine, set off a firestorm last week and announced plans to change customers for every new charge customers for every new installation of their game after a certain threshold. The decision triggered widespread protest, leading several video game makers to say they would boycott Unity until the policy is changed. True. There was stuff like Code of the Lamb said they were going to delete their game off of uh, off of Steam if it didn't, right? If uh, Unity didn't change their stuff, it's crazy. Under the tentative new plan, Unity will limit fees to four percent of a game's revenue for customers making over one million dollars and said that installations counted toward reaching the threshold won't be retroactive. Hold on. Unreal is 5%. 4% of a game's revenue, not installations. So now it's still 1% better than Unreal. Interesting. It looks like there's going to be an installation fees anyway, but they it won't be more than 4% of the game's revenue. That's that's great, right? It's saying that the, in, the install fees will not be more than 4% of the game's revenue. Oh, for any customers making over a million dollars. Okay, okay, we got to make sure we read this correctly, right? So if you make over a million, you won't, you don't, you will not charge you less they will not charge you more than four percent so if you make a million it will it will be if you make one million exactly they will only charge you forty thousand dollars because unreal would charge you fifty thousand dollars because one million is their threshold right however you can still buy the unity pro plan right so uh last week chief executive officer officer john regatelio I've actually never, I guess, Ricitello, I've never actually said his name out loud, delayed an all-hands meeting on the pricing changes and closed two offices after the company received what was said a credible death threat. Oh. The company apologized customer on Sunday, said it would be making changes to the policy. Mark Whitten, Whitten, the unity executive, said the company hasn't yet announced the latest changes because executives are running them by partners and don't want to repeat last week's communications debacle, which led to several clarifications. So this is speculation. That's speculation, tentative new plan, right? We don't know for a fact yet. One of the most controversial elements of the policy concerned how Unity would track installations of its software, although the company first said it would use proprietary tools. Witten said Monday management will rely on users to self-report the data. How are there, is that a trust system? What? I entrusted my company in, in the companies that, that make games with me to tell me how many installs they have. I mean, less work for them, but what? It doesn't seem like it makes that much sense. I, uh, okay. Yeah. In the meeting, Recatelio, Recatello, Recatillo, I don't know. Emphasize that the new policy is designed to generate more revenue from the company's biggest customers and that more than 90% of Unity users won't be affected. Several employees asked during the meeting how Unity said, or how Unity would, words are hard, how Unity would bounce back from what appeared to be a breach of trust. The executive said the company will have to show, not tell, and handle future communications more carefully. Well, yeah, no, no, no shit. <laughs> I don't think there's any version of this that would have gone down a whole lot differently than what happened, Dracatelio said. It's a massively transformational change to our business model. It is. But he acknowledged that we could have done a lot of things a lot better. Well, at least he's aware of that, because it was a dumb move. However, I did the same thing everyone else did. I freaked out when it first happened. And then I took some time to think about it. 
And originally, under the original plan, the plan, it sounds like I'm making like a, a political advertisement. Hold on. Let me pull up for reference the plan, right? Let me do that. Allow me to pull up the plan for reference. One second. So the original one was this, right? Can you guys see that? Yeah. So the original one is if you had less than 200,000 downloads, you pay no fees, right? Less than 200,000 downloads, no matter your revenue, it doesn't matter, no fees to Unity, which honestly isn't that bad. Let's say your game is 60, is, uh, is an $80 game and you get 190,000 for installs. To be fair, let's think about this for a second. I don't install every game I buy. How, do you? Do you safely install, do you, can you safely say you install every single game you buy? I have so many games on Steam and I'm pretty sure that I, is there a way to see unplayed? There is. Oh, this is gonna be such, such a scary number. Unplayed. I have never installed a thousand and ten games that I own. There you go. A thousand and ten games I have never installed my library so buying a game and then not playing the game does not count toward their bullshit system that they created over here right however that means that you can have more than 190,000 set uh, units sold it's, it only accounts the people who install the game right the the people who go I'll install and play it later and then they play Starfield and they forget about it yeah. In your opinion, it's still gross. The TOS changes and deleting the old TOS is still gross. Them setting a 4% cap is just super dumb, and I don't know why people would even trust them not see it as a way to slowly have the install fees creep up over time. People inherently don't want to pay for installations on new devices. People would rather have a flat fee on, flat rate on sales. Yeah. Game Pack, what's up, dude? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So, in this pricing structure that is currently the active pricing structure for January 1st, right? Above 200,000 downloads, say you have a $5 game, 500,000 installs, and your first 200 are free, you, you owe Unity 60 grand. You've made two and a half million, you owe Unity 60 grand, right? You owe Unreal 75 grand, which is still 4% versus 5%, which is kind of weird. But let's say we're at 2.5 million, Right, times Unity fees, times taxes, right? We're at 1.4. Oh, wait, no, sorry, not Unity fees. 2.5 million times, can we not make that noise? 2.5 million times, I think it's 0. 0.9, because I think when you make that much money, Steam takes less. Then times 0. 0.8, so you're at 1.8, right? Minus any returns and chargebacks, blah, 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 right? So you're at 1.8. So now minus $60,000. I mean, even if Unity took the install fees, I'm okay with $1.7 million, <laughs> right? Like, even if they did that. However, let's say you're at 1.8 million and you buy the Unity Pro plan. The Unity Pro plan is $2,040 and not 60. The nerve, unbelievable. Can you believe it? So honestly, changing to a 4% to a cap at 4% model. So 2.5 million in revenue times 0.04. They, are not, they wouldn't take more than a hundred. Is that more than what they were gonna take before? Holy crap. That's more. Wait, what's Unreal's number for that? 2.5 million times. What, this, is this math wrong? But I thought Unreal was 5%. Or is it 5% after a million? They updated the changes? They did a, they, there was a meeting that happened yesterday 
And it's not final, but the tentative new plan is that Unity is limiting fees to no more than 4% of a game's revenue for people making, for, for customers making over a million. So they will not destroy the banks of anybody who has made a ton of money in Unity, right? So this, this is 15 hours ago. So we're talking what? Four o'clock in the afternoon. It is, it's, not, it's not a public, this is what Unity said. It says tentative, right? However, this is, in, this is lightly concerning that it's 4% of the game's revenue for customers making over $1 million. But installations counted toward reaching the threshold won't be retroactive. So if you've already made $6 million in the, and $6 million and 800,000 downloads, it's only counting, so you've already crossed the threshold for money, but it's only counting the next 200,000 installs, right? So that's actually great. Because what if you're only what if your game made a whole bunch of money last year and now you're making trickle money, right? You're not you're getting maybe 50 new installs a, a month. Which is sad and dead, right? Um 50 new installs a month is 600 a year, which is not 200,000. So you would never actually even though you made most of your money you would never you would never get hit with the fees because it's not retroactive anymore that's a big deal that's a big deal there's a lot of good in this paragraph right here but the limiting four percent of games revenue does seem like somehow it might be a little bit higher than i had originally anticipated 